Hey guys, welcome back to yet another exciting video. I hope you all liked, shared and commented on all my previous videos. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, do click on the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon for instant notifications and updates. So in today's video, we are going to look into the 5 basic points that you all need to know regarding solo rides. So let's get into the video guys. So the first point is uh, you are free to create your own schedules and make your own decisions. So when, come, when it comes to solo rides, uh, it's, it's a matter of freedom. You can always uh, create a plan, schedule it and if you are not interested, you can cancel it at any point of time. It won't affect anyone else apart from you. So and also uh, it is a matter of saving money as well. Wherein if you're going for a, a group ride, you'll have to or some people have this habit of skipping their breakfast just to save some money. I've seen a couple of people like that. So when it comes to group rides, what happens is uh, when you're trying to save money, it's highly impossible because the whole when the whole group is having their lunch or breakfast, even you'll be forced to have it or else you'll be the odd man out. So basically, solo ride is a matter of freedom and also for saving money, it is a great option. So the second point is you learn a lot about yourselves. So what basically happens when you're going on a solo ride is uh, you explore yourself, you understand yourself. So people are different when they are alone. So when they are in a group, they're completely different and they don't know how to explore them themselves. But when you're on a solo ride, you explore a lot of things. You come to know more about yourself. So these all things will help you to have a good peace of mind. Uh, without any tension, you can travel peacefully, you can think a lot of things in your life and uh, you can rely on those things and you can like you can reflect on your thoughts as well. So solo rides is a very main, uh, the main aspect of people going solo is when they are highly depressed or some people really need a peace of mind, they go on it. So in this process, they learn a lot about themselves and it actually helps. So the third point is you will challenge yourself to try out new things. So basically this is highly impossible when you're going on a group ride. So when it comes to solo ride it's very easy because I have seen personally a couple of my friends and also a couple of YouTubers out there who take challenges, who check on their abilities. I have seen people who have done uh, uh, Chen Bangalore to Mumbai in just 23 to 24 hours and Chennai to Mumbai and lot of videos so these guys go on a solo ride and uh, what they actually do is they just check on their ability they challenge their sense uh, they challenge themselves and they just push uh, their abilities to a next level so in this case uh, they try to like achieve their uh, goals and also a lot of things which they haven't tried out in their lifetime so actually solo rides will bring the best out of you so you all you all guys should try it once the fourth point is you don't have to worry about fulfilling someone else's needs so what happens is you're the owner of your schedule you're the owner of your trip the decision that you take you can drop it at any point of time as and when it requires so so let's say uh, let let me give a uh, basic illustration uh, the thing is you're planning something and you're kind of homesick person what happens here is uh, you'll feel back to you'll feel to go back to home at any point of time so in this case uh, you can cancel the plan at any point of time and then just go get back to home uh, no one is going to stop you or no one is going to like uh, the others say when you go when you're going on a group ride what happens is uh, basically uh, you're cancelling a plan and we, even your friends and the people around you will tend to cancel the plan which will ha which will affect the whole group so the same happens when you're go in a vice versa as well so when the whole group uh, when there's one person in the group who's cancelling the plan even you'll have the f same feel to cancel the plan so ideally you're the owner of everything so that's the main advantage when you go on a solo ride So the last and the final point is, you will learn how to navigate, ask questions, talk to more people and be more outgoing and friendly. So this is a very basic concept that you need to keep in mind when you're going on a solo ride. Safety, ma uh, safety matters the most because that is the only disadvantage uh, when you're going on a solo ride. So it's all about how you cope up with people around you. 
so let's say you're in a place where you don't know the language of that particular place and it's a less explored uh, region uh, what happens in these cases is you can't trust people you'll have to manage that you are a localite who knows things like that um, and uh, you'll have to like uh, language also matters the most you'll have to navigate yourself you'll have to explore things without anyone's help so it's a very uh, difficult task but still if you're going on a, going on a solo ride i would highly recommend you to not go into places that are less explored and remote kind of places because that creates a lot of issues so keep these points in mind these five basic points are very important in order to go on a solo ride keep these things and plan your solo ride accordingly so yes guys i hope these five points would have been very informative if you think that this is very informative do click on the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon for instant notifications and updates and also share with your friends and it will be helpful for them as well so this is about all the uh, this is about today's video guys i hope you all liked it if you have liked it do click on the like button and also comment on the comment box uh, that's it let's travel together let's ride let's travel let's explore thank you and also i forgot to tell you guys one thing if you haven't uh, yet followed me on instagram the links are in the description and also stalk me on facebook the both of these links are in the description let's get connected thank you guys keep supporting thank you all